Me, I've got a future. I've been working hard. I'm not throwing all that away to be dying in no fucking ditch for some girl with some shit botched up fucking BBL to be twerking on my fucking grave in two years' time. Nah, blood. It's not happening, fam. You think I'm, you think I'm going to put my life on the line and die so that people in this country can just continue claiming benefits and sit on the sofa like a fat sack of shit? You mad and complain, oh, I'm depressed. Oh, I have anxiety, so that's why I can't flood. No way. No way. I move through this earth with a level of disgust. Right, so so um, this is a good one now. Hold on. So, um, hold on, where's, where's, where's the comment going? So, Ren. Yes, yeah, a chick. So, yeah, Ren said, do you think they will actually make men in this country serve in the army? Serve a year in the army. Lord, I don't I don't give a shit if they're gonna make men serve an army. I'm not serving in no damn army. I'm not dying for no one in this country, blood. Yeah. This is what's gonna happen. Let's say if I go and serve in the army and I die. Yeah. My little sister in 10 years' time will be like telling her friend, oh yeah. You know, my brother, like, he served in the army and he died in the army. He died in a war, you know. A friend would be like, that's so sad. So do you want to go Nando's or go Burger King? They're going to forget. She, she's going to forget. She's not going to give a fuck, blood. I'm not dying for no one that's not even going to give me 60 seconds of their time. Talking about 60 seconds of their time, yeah? My girl was half Polish, half Arab, yeah? Now, Poland was a country that they lost their country. It became a part of Germany and or Russia at one point. It never existed at some point. Yeah? So it existed, then it got taken over and it didn't exist for like a hundred, couple hundred years. Then they fought to get it back. I say to my girl, imagine, yeah? I even asked her, because she's a proud Pole. Yeah? She's a proud Polish. She don't look it. You would never know she's Polish because she's just Arab, but she's a proud Pole. I said to her, it's a, asking her a trick question, yeah? I know she, I know, I know the answer already. I said to her, name one of the soldiers or one of the freedom fighters that fought to get Poland back. She couldn't answer it, but I knew she wouldn't because most people are not going to know that. I said to her, imagine, yeah, as a Polish tradition, when everybody wakes up in Poland, they teach you from young. When you wake up in the morning, you have to sit on the edge of your bed for 60 seconds and just pay homage and just one, you know, like the, um, was it the 11th of um, November at 11 a.m.? You're supposed to do one, one minute of, of silence and that. Let's say it's in Polish tradition, yeah? Every time you get up, um, wake up in the morning, you sit at the edge of your bed, you just, you sit for one minute, 60 seconds, and you just remember and you think about all the, the soldiers and freedom fighters that died to fight for this country and that, yeah? When you look out of your window, the reason why you can look out of your window and there's buildings and you're a part of the Polish community in Poland as a country and that people died um, for this country and that. Do you know how many people would get up in the morning and think, oh, fuck it, man, I can't even bother to um, sit down for one minute and pay homage and give one minute silence and that. I'm not going to be one of them people there that's going to die for people in 20 years time to not even remember what I've done for this country. Man, fuck that bullshit. You think I'm dying for people? Blood, I'm too important. You look, I think this is arrogant. I don't cock you. I don't give a fuck. I'm too important to be dying in some fucking ditch. Go make that guy that works in Asda or BNM. He can go and die in a ditch, blood. Yeah? He don't care about his future. He has not. Especially the man as well. Not everyone that works in Asda or BNM don't see themselves having a future. Now, but for the most part, me, I've got a future. I've been working hard. I'm not throwing all that away to be dying in no fucking ditch for some girl with some shit botched up fucking bbl to be twerking on my fucking grave in two years time nah blood it's not happening fam it's not happening blood i'm not dying for no one in this country you see th this is the thing in this country we've been pussified yeah so we don't so what we're allowed to be depressed as men and we're allowed to cry and act like bitches and, and act like women, yeah, no disrespect to women, but we're not supposed to be men, we're not allowed to be toxic, toxically masculine and that, but when it comes to war, we're not allowed to be depressed, because no one's allowed to claim that they're depressed, yeah, we're not allowed to claim war of this gender, or I identify as an apple, or a fucking kind of um, monster um, energy drink and that, I can't identify none of that, but 
when it comes to war, oh, you got to be a man. You can't be depressed anymore. Bullshit, man. I'm not fighting for no fucking war. They're going to have to put me back in prison, blood. I promise you. They're going to have to lock me up. I stand a better chance of survival in jail, blood, than being uh, in some fucking ditch. They're not. They're not drafting me. It's not happening. I'll go on a run. I'll go on a run. Go on a run. I'm not fighting for Jamaica as well. Someone said, are you fighting for Jamaica? I'm not fighting for Jamaica. I'll tell you why. Yeah, Because this is how you got to think. You have to think to yourself, would other people do it for me? Would, would I be remembered than that? You see, Jamaica, I'm a proud Jamaican. I love being Jamaican. I wouldn't want to be from nowhere else. Obviously, I'm born here, second generation. Even my mum was born here. Yeah? But you see even the Jamaicans in Jamaica, and even the Jamaicans that come over here, they don't see me as 100% Jamaican like them, you know. English youth. Nah, fuck that. I'm not dying for no one or no country that don't fully see me as one of them. Fuck that. So I wouldn't even fight for Jamaica. Not when they don't see me as one of them. She said, conscripted, got to go. Ha! You know, there's 60 different medical and exemptions. Yeah? So, like, basically, there's 60 exemptions that if you have one of them, you don't have to um, fight in the war. I've already researched that. Trust me. I will get out of not fighting in the war. I promise you. I'm one of the smartest guys that you will ever fucking meet, yeah, or at least see on social media. Trust me, I will find ways out of this thing. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not, I'm not going. I can already get out of it. You know, yeah, high blood pressure, hypertension is one of them. I've been diagnosed with that, you know. I don't I don't believe I've got high blood pressure on that. Yet. I just believe, like, it's my lifestyle on that. Like, you know, I'm just trying to say, like, I'm like a go, go, go sort of person. So that's why I have high blood pressure. I think that I've caused it for myself. Don't get it twisted. Man, I ain't got no health issues, nothing like that. But my blood pressure is on the high side of that. Um, so I can just use that as an excuse. That's one of them. High blood pressure. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's from salt. Black people, naturally, allegedly, we have high blood pressure. But it runs in my family. So, well, my, my dad's side anyway. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It could, it could be diet, obviously, isn't it? But yeah, and that's, and that's on, that's on record. Yeah, I will come up with any excuse. PTSD. I don't give a shit. You're not getting me involved in no damn war. No way, blood. When I wanted to, off my own back, fight wars for the ends and that. Oh, that's illegal, but I must fight for the country. Fuck off, man. I only, back, I only get involved in beef that I want to get involved in. No one makes me do nothing I don't want to do. If my manager at work tried to make me do something I don't want to do, then I will tell him, well, then you're going to have to fire me. Then it's as simple as that. I live life on my own terms, yeah? I try and stick and, you know, not break the law or nothing like that. But other than that, I do what I want. I live in abundance. I live in abundance. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, you're saying if everyone had my mentality and that, but not everyone has my mentality. That's why most people are broke. So, even, even back in the day, there were certain men, you know, like when they were doing the drafts and that for like England to go fight Germany, whatever. There were certain men that slipped through the net. I'm going to be one of them guys. I'm not going to war. You're not, they're not making me go to war. It's impossible. They're going to have to put me in jail, blood. Like. I'll go on a missing list. Who, if I go on a missing list yeah, and they can't find me, who's to say I weren't in the forest getting drunk because I was depressed? How, how can they prove that I weren't, I weren't depressed and that? So it's not happening. I'll come up with any excuse. I'm not going to war, fam. It's not no shook thing or nothing like that. I'm not dying for no country. This is what's going to happen. A hundred thousand men are going to go to war. Fifty, um, six thousand of them die. Yeah. They're going to put your face up on the, on the screen. It's just going to quickly go past all the people them that died, all the people them that died, all the people them that died. And the people them that are stuck at home, well, well at home safe, they're going to go and flick them. Oh, when's EastEnders coming on? Oh, yeah, I need to watch Deal or No Deal. They ain't going to remember you. They ain't going to give a shit, blood. You think I'm, I'm going to put my life on the line and die? 
so that people in this country can just continue claiming benefits and sit on the sofa like a fat sack of shit. You mad and complain, oh, I'm depressed. Oh, I have anxiety, so that's why I can't flood. No way. No way. I move through this earth with a level of disgust for the average person, you know. I'm telling you, when you get to a certain level, yeah, you just sit back and analyse and just look at people something like, why, what, what, why do you exist? You're a waste of fucking life, innit? I know this sounds crazy to some people. And I'm telling you, yeah, when you're a hard grinder, you're a hard worker, man, and you see and you look at people and you just watch them and, and you know they're complaining and it's all people that don't want to make the effort. Man. You just have a, a level of resentment for them. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not fighting to keep anyone like that alive. Nah, man, you can go, fam. You can go and die in a ditch. You can go and die in a ditch. You're a waste of space. You're a waste of oxygen. None of you, man. I beg, don't go and fight in no damn war. The only way man's fighting in the war, it has to come to me, blood. So it's funny. So let's say, yeah, someone was chatting mad to my mum. And I thought, oh, let me go and in, let, let me go and fix my man before it gets to that level. Yeah. I will get in trouble for that just for fixing someone. But legally, I'm allowed to go to war and shoot someone dead in another country. Like, Fuck that bullshit. Nah, man. The government wanna tell people, oh, you can't put hands on people when it's your own disputes. But for us, yeah, you can go to another country and kill people. No jurisdiction. Fuck off, man. I'm not fighting for no war. Rishi Sunak, and I'm not dissing Rishi Sunak, yeah? Because I don't like people just, everyone wants to cuss Rishi Sunak. What I'm saying, he has daughters, yeah? But let's say he had sons that were of age, because you have to be of certain age to fight in the war. His daughters are little girls, so they're too young anyway, and they're female, yeah? But let's say he has sons that were of age, 19, 20, 21. I promise you, they all wriggle out of going to war as well. Yeah, you know what? Some MPs' sons might just go there just to post up and that, just to say they were there, but you see them and they disappear after a week or two. Just so that it can look good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the MPs' sons and that served in the army. Now, I promise you, they're not serving in no fucking army. They're not going to be in no ditch. And if they don't have to be in no ditch, then I don't have to be in no fucking ditch. Bro. I said, speaking for black people right here, I ain't going either. Man's got no time for that. I'm heading to Africa or South America. You damn right. Yeah, you know what? I'll become a passport bro that I'll sat black. Cause I'm not you're not making me go to no war. I'm not going for no I'm not going to no damn war. Yeah, if Prince Harry went to war, that, that hey, that's up to him. That's up to him. I know they didn't make him go to war. That is up to Prince Harry. And was he really on the front line? Yeah. Was he really in a ditch? And if he did, that's just one guy. Yeah. What about all the other MP sons and that? And if he did, that was probably his own accord. I know they didn't make him go to war. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe a war will happen in that. But <laughs> man said, Jay, your next property should be a bunker. You damn right. Who do you think should go to war? All the low lives, all the broke people. Let them man they go to war. They ain't got nothing to live for. You work in Asda, you work in um, b &M, Yeah, you just coast along through life. You're a homeless person. Make, make them go to war. Let them go die in a ditch. Not me, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying it's harsh. I'm a harsh man. I'm a harsh man. I'm not, I'm not going to go die in a war for nobody. Being broke is temporary, though. Nah, for some people, it's permanent, blood. But so what about road man and bad man? I mean, I don't... I, okay. I mean, you see the man who are lifers in jail, yeah? They should be asked if they want to go. Why not? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, you're a lifer. I'm talking about natural life. You're never coming out. 
Fuck it. If I was a lifer, natural life never coming out, fuck it, I'll go to war. Why not? Better than being shacked up in a fucking cell. That's the thing. You lot think going to war is like a video game, blood. This is not Call of Duty. You don't get to respawn. And even if you do come back, are you going to come back intact? Are you going to have all your faculties? Yeah? Man make it to war and come back, but they might have a leg missing. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, this is not a joke, blood. Yeah, if the war came to UK, yeah, of course I'm going to have to defend it. But it has to come to me. It has to come to me. It has to come to me. Yeah, you might, yeah. Gun might blow up, blow, in your, blow up in your hand. Yeah, you might, yeah, you could lose a finger. So I'm saying there's bombs involved, you know. I said send diggity, you know. <laughs> I said, send diggity. Hey, listen, free steel and bring back lamps here yeah, to fight in the war, yeah? <laughs> them out there will put in some work. Trust me. 